guys, welcome back to the channel for this glitzy eye and hair look. To get it started, I'm going to begin by priming my eyes, and this is Urban Decay's All Nighter Concealer. I'm just applying that to my lid as well as my lower lash line. Onto the eyes. Now this palette is what I'm going to be using actually for both my eyes and my face. It's a great all-in-one sort of thing. It's from Beauty Counter and it's their Winter Jewels palette. A girlfriend of mine sent this to me. And so if you want to check it out, I will put her link in the description. The first shade I'm starting off with here is actually the bronzer shade in this palette called Amber and I'm applying that in my crease. It is going to act as my best friend blending shade for this look. Then to make sure the cut in that crease is a little bit more dramatic, I'm going in with this deeper brown called Topaz and a pointed pencil brush or, or at least a more narrow pencil brush and I'm drawing that just above my crease. Then I'm taking a blending brush to make sure that not only those two shades blend but I'm also blending that bronzer shade up into my brow bone. Speaking of the brow bone, to make sure it stands out I'm taking this frosty white shade called Moonstone and I'm popping that right underneath my brow. Moving on to the lid shades, I'm going into the pink shimmery shade in this palette called Rose Quartz with a flat but somewhat fluffy brush to pat that across uh, the inner half of my eyelid. Then for the outer half of the eyelid, I'm going into the deep purple in this palette called Garnet. Then to really add some depth to that outer corner, I'm going in with the matte black in this palette called Onyx, and I'm taking an even smaller detail brush to just pat that right in the outermost corner to add some drama. Moving on to the liner, I'm using a black liquid liner, and this one is from Christian Louboutin. It is their Luminous Eye Ink, and it's the first Christian Louboutin product I've ever used. Still giving it a try, so look for a review coming soon, but I'm just using that to draw um, probably a more dramatic wing that I would typically wear, but you know, this look kind of called for it. Once you're done with your wing liner, it's time for the part that I think we're all waiting for when it comes to a glitter tutorial, and that is the actual glitter. This is Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy, and I am just going in and applying that throughout my crease. What I love about a cut crease with glitter is that you really can fudge with the makeup, and the glitter really does the, the work for you in terms of creating a super sharp, defined cut crease. And that's it for the eyes, except mascara, which we'll apply later, but then you move on to the face. Here I am using a current favorite of mine, which has been the Fenty Beauty Primer, paired with the Huda Beauty Foundation, and I like to apply these by mixing them together and then applying them to my face. The Huda Beauty Foundation is super pigmented, but a little drying even on my combo skin, so I find the Fenty Beauty just lightens it up a little bit and keeps the Huda from clinging to my dry patches. But it still maintains the full coverage, which I love. Then for concealer, I just go back into that Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer and put that in my under eye area, and then around any other blemishes I have hanging around on the rest of my face. Like I said, we had to finish up those eyes with some mascara, so this is Lancome's Monsieur Big. I'm giving my lashes a few good coats of that before going in and finishing up my lower lash line with a little bit of that plum shade from earlier, just running that along the outer corner. For brows, I'm keeping it super simple with the L'Oreal Brow Stylus and just using that to go in to fill and shape my brows. For the rest of my face, I'm going back into that same palette, first starting with the bronzer shade Amber, the same shade I started in my crease with, and I'm just applying that using a nice uh, fluffy brush because I find that because this is a shimmery bronzer I like to use something a little fluffier to diffuse that shimmer so it looks a little more luminous on the skin and I apply that where I typically would apply my bronzer the hollows of my cheeks my temples and underneath my jawline for blush I'm going into that sunstone shade using that same brush and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and last for highlight I am going into the shade moonstone that same shade that I put on my brow bone for highlight and I'm using that on my cheeks and oh Oh my goodness guys, does this give you an incredible highlight pop. Like this, it's no joke. And then I finish off the makeup in this look with the Butter London Lip Oils. The shade I've been loving lately is Dusty Mauve and it's as easy as one coat across the lips. For me, it has kind of become my Your Lips But Better shade and it's so, so comfy. And my favorite part of this look is of course the glitter bun and guys, it is so stinking easy. You literally just put your hair up in a bun, you take whatever glitter you used in your cut crease and I took the stopper out of mine because these Urban Decay liners that you just you just get a teensy little bit out at a time. So I took the stopper out so I could get a ton on the back of my hand. And then I just took my finger and ran it through my hair, ran it through my bun. And if you kind of streak it through your hair like I'm doing here, it almost looks like tinsel. Like you put 
tinsel throughout your hair and it just feels so festive and so fun. And I feel like one of the only times that I can personally pull this off is around the holidays. So I wanted to share it. And that's really it for me, guys. That's how you get this glitter cut crease and glitter bun tutorial. I really hope you enjoy. Definitely let me know if you guys end up using any piece or portion of this look. Tag me on social media. I'm at Daily Bailey B pretty much everywhere. Take a picture, tag me. I would love to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.